Okay, so today uh, we continue looking at uh, solving systems, okay? Um, but today's systems will be uh, what are called nonlinear, okay? So you're going to be dealing with either a line in a parabola or a line in a circle or two circles or two parabolas or, you know, whatever. Um, and, you know, so if you, if you look at the graph of these, right? So if you say say you had a... Uh, a parabola and a line, right? Well, um, where the graphs, you know, if you had two lines where the gra the both graphs of the lines crossed, right, that would be a solution, right? Well, if you look at this picture, you have this point and this point. So these systems will have a lot of times more than one answer, okay? Um, so yeah, that's just kind of something to kind of keep in mind. Uh, when working these and, and solving these, okay? Um, but to solve these, you use the same steps. You use substitution, you use elimination, you know, you can do those things. Um, the calculator method doesn't really work in this sense, in this sense right? Um, so you really have to do it algebraically, okay? Um, so yeah, so we have our equation, uh, and today what we're going to be mostly focusing in on is uh, using the sub what's called the substitution method. Okay, so uh, if you look at the first one, you have x plus y equals 2 and y equals x squared minus 4, right? Now, um, you're already told what y is. y is equal to, it's equal to x squared minus 4, right? So I'm going to take this value, x squared minus 4, and I'm going to plug it right there, okay? So my equation becomes x plus x squared minus 4 equals 2, all right? Now I'm going to kind of rewrite this, and once I rewrite it, um, you can kind of start to see what we got to do, right? So um, first I'll move the 2 over, right? So I'll get x plus x squared minus 6 equals 0, and then I'll put this in what's called standard form, right? So I will move the x squared first. So x squared plus x minus 6 equals 0. Okay, so I have this. Now, um, how you solve this? Well, it's a, it's a quadratic, right? So how we solve quadratics for equal to 0 um, is to factor, right? So we draw two sets of parentheses. Okay, now when you factor how I do it, right, I always ask myself, okay, what times what is x squared, right? And that will give me the first numbers in each of these parentheses because in FOIL, right, it goes all go, it all goes back to FOIL, right? The first step in FOIL, the F, is the first terms. Those first terms multiplied together give me the first term in my quadratic. So what times what is x squared? Well, that's x and x. So I will put x and x here. Now, um, now you have to ask yourself, okay, now the last letter in FOIL is the L, right? It's the last terms. Um, uh, so the last, both last terms in each parenthesis are multiplied together, and that gives me this last number. So what two numbers multiply together to give me 6? Okay, well, there's two sets. There's 1 times 6, and there's 2 times 3, right? So um, I write this out. Now, which one, which pair of numbers do I use? Well, in order to answer that, you have to look and see, okay, which set of numbers, 1 and 6 or 2 and 3, can be combined, whether through addition or subtraction, to get this middle number. That's the O and the I part in FOIL, right? It gives me this middle number, which is, in this case, it's 1, right? So 1 plus 6 is 7, 1 minus 6 is negative 5 or 5, depending on how I subtract, right? So that's not going to give me 1, right? 2 plus 3 is 5. 2 minus 3 is negative 1, right? If I flip that, 3 minus 2, I get 1. That's what I use, so I can put 2 and 3 here, right? Now, since it's plus, I need a positive 1x, right? I put a plus with the 3 and a minus with the 2. Right, so that's how I factor. Um, I won't explain that for everything, just kind of that's what I do. Now, once you have this, now you set both of these factors. So x minus 2 
equal to 0 and x plus 3 equal to 0 and you solve. So you get x equals 2 and x equals negative 3, right? So this goes back to my example picture at the top that I gave you, right? So there are two solutions for this right now to find the y values for each. All I have to do is take these values right here and here and just plug them back into this bottom equation for what y equals y equals x squared minus 4. And I just solve. So I get y equals... 2 squared minus 4. So then y equals 4 minus 4. So y equals 0. Right? So at x equals 2, y equals 0. x equals 2, y equals 0. Okay. And then for x equals negative 3, I'll do the same little bit of math let me put it right up here so y equals negative 3 squared minus 4 negative 3 squared is 9 right make sure to put parentheses around it especially if you use a calculator right because if you use uh, if you square negative 3 squared in the calculator without parentheses you'll get negative 9 that's not true right negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 so i get y equals 9 minus 4 so y equals 5 so y equals 5. So there are my two solutions to this system. Okay. All right, now the next one, x plus y equals 2, and y equals x squared minus 4x plus 4. So I'll do the same thing. I'm already told what y equals, so I will put all the second equation right there. All right, so I get x plus x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 2. Okay, now I'll combine, the reason I put it in parentheses, just to show that I substituted that in, I can drop the parentheses, so what's 1 plus a negative 4 is negative 3, so I get x squared minus 3x plus 4 equals 2, if I subtract 2, I get x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0, okay, so now I factor, right, so the first term what times what is x squared? That's x and x. What multiplies to 2? Well, that's 1 and 2. That's the only two numbers that multiply to 2. And then it's since it's minus plus, right, um, it would have to be minus minus. Okay? So now I set both of those factors. x minus 1 and x minus 2 equal to 0. And then I solve, so I get x equals 1. And x equals 2. All right. And then now um, I can plug this in. Uh, I can plug it into the bottom one uh, like I did before. Um, that might be a little bit more work. Um, I'll plug it into the top one. You can do either way. Um, so I'll do, the, I'll do the top one. Right. So I have 1 plus y equals 2. If I subtract 1, I get y equals 1. So then, so my answer is x equals 1, y equals 1. That's one of the answers. Okay, and then for 2, I get 2 plus y equals 2. So if I subtract 2, I get y equals 0. So at x equals 2, y is 0. So there's my two solutions. Okay, now the last one, okay, uh, on the bottom, you're told what, y equals y equals x squared minus 4x equals or x squared minus 4x minus 10 and y equals negative x squared minus 2x plus 14 okay so they both equal y so when you're doing this you just set them equal to each other so x squared minus 4x minus 10 equals negative x squared minus 2x plus 14 okay um so really, you just got to shove every, everything over, um, over to one side. And it really um, doesn't matter. Well, okay, it does. It matters which way you would go. Well, it doesn't because, you know, you can do some little algebra tricks. But to keep the, the coefficient in front of the x term positive, 
I'm going to shove everything to the right over um, to the left side. So I'm going to add x squared plus 2x and then minus 14. So plus x squared plus 2x minus 14. Okay, um, so you get 2x squared minus 2x minus 24 equals 0. Okay, um, well, you can handle it with the 2, uh, 2x squared out in front. Um, I'm going to do a little algebra trick, and I'll pull out a 2. So I get x squared minus x minus 12 equals 0. Okay, so then I get 2 times, and i got to factor this, right? So what times what is x squared? That's x and x. And then what times 12? Uh, two numbers multiply together and give me 12. Well, that's 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. Now, which pair of numbers can be combined to negative 1? And that would be 3 and 4. Okay, so it's 3 and 4. Since it's minus, minus, the bigger number will have to be a minus, and the smaller number will have to be a plus. Okay, so now solving this, so I said x plus 3 equals 0, and x minus 4 equals 0. Right, so you get x equals negative 3, and x equals 4. All right, so once you have those, to your two answers, you just got to plug it into one of the two and solve, right? I would probably plug it into the top one because the bottom one has a negative x squared that, you know, can be kind of confusing, you know. So you get y equals negative 3 squared minus 4 times negative 3 minus 10. That's 9 plus 12 minus 10. Oops. That's a 10, right? So 9 plus 12 is 21 minus 10 is 11. All right, so one of our solutions is x equals negative 3, y equals 11, right? And then doing the same thing for x equals 4, you get 4 squared minus 4 times 4 minus 10, so that's 16 minus 16 minus 10, right? So 16 minus 16 is 0, and then 0 minus 10 is negative 10. So I get x equals 4 y equals zero so there you go that's how you solve systems uh well solve systems of non-linear equations if you have any questions um please comment or um email me thanks